All right, welcome back. This is the last time that we're going to be in the coding part of the, everything. So, in the last time we were in this code, um, we saw that we could change a few things. We put things through functions. But this time, what we're going to do is we're going to practice setting parameters and arguments for our functions. Now, before we do that, though, I saw something in my um, calculate heel. And I noticed at the end of that episode that it didn't run the way I expected. So I think I wanted to fix this. In this else statement, I don't want it just to return the player health. I want it to return the player health plus the potion heal amount. But we'll be changing that this episode anyways. But you know, it's good to have that because this is what it's supposed to be. All right. So first things first. Um, we created a good starting point for our calculate damage, but the function body, so if you look at the calculate damage right here, the function body, it can, it contains constants and variables that would be better if we wrote them as parameters. So that's what we're about to do. So we're going to take this player health, uh, right here. Um, and we're going to make it into a parameter. And then we're going to, instead of potion damage amount, we're just going to say desire damage amount. And we're going to make that into parameter. And also minimum health right here. We're going to make that into a parameter. So the way that we do that is we just change our calculate damage so it looks like this. All of those things have to be written up here now. So first off, let's do our player health. So player health, select that. And because it's a parameter, you have to write it with a colon and then the type that it is. And in this case, it's going to be a float. And then put a comma and then put your next parameter, which in this case is going to be. Um, let's, first, before we do that, let's change the name. Say desired damage amount down here. Back there. And then up here, we'll add that up there. Hmm. Oh, well. And then press a um, space and a colon. And this is also going to be a float. And then put a comma. And the last one that we're going to need is the minimum health. So we could just say min health. Yep, and space, colon, and that's a float. And the whole thing, the whole function is going to return a float as well, or it should be a float type. Now, underneath that, we can delete all of this stuff here because we just put it as parameters. So you can delete that. And now what we'll run is the if, else, if, else statement. So I put mine like that. And this potion damage amount, we need to change this to say desired damage. So instead of potion damage amount. So there we go. Uh, another one that we can do is player health. That's right. And instead of potion damage amount, change this one again to desired damage amount. That way you don't have any more errors. And you should see that everything works out. So save that. Oh, all right. Now, what we need to do is we need to recognize that there's a little squiggly line down here in this calculate damage. And the reason why, the reason why the, the error is right here is because we haven't put any arguments in for these uh, parameters that we just called up here. So we need to put the arguments down here in the calculate damage. Because that's where these argument, I mean, that's where the parameters are. So now let's set the arguments for them. And in order to do that, or before we can pass an argument for player health to calculate damage, we need to know what the character's health is. And for that, we're going to use a built-in method called get health. And we're going to call this the same way that we call like the damage method and the heal method. But it's going to return a value that we're going to need to save within the hurt player. So let's do that. In hurt player, let's go down to this line here, right under the if. Press enter, 
and we're going to add another one in like it's going to say my character health and then we're going to put a space colon and it's going to be a float type and for it it's going to equal fortnite character okay dot and remember how we called the methods before like damage or heal this one's going to be get uh i think it's get player health or get health one of those get health yeah and you have to put the parentheses on the end of that and you'll be good with that cool so in order to continue and get rid of these squiggly lines, let's go ahead and call those arguments now or put those arguments in here to calculate damage. All right. For the second parameter in calculate damage function, we need a parameter from the hurt player. So let's add a parameter that's a float called damage amount. And we'll do this in the hurt player. So right here, let's add a one that's called damage amount okay and this is going to be a float and that should be good like that cool so now that has a parameter here <clears throat> and the third thing that we need to do in order to get this going is we can add those arguments to our calculate damage uh, function down here to get rid of this error so the arguments that we're going to add is my character health and that's going to be for the player's health okay so that will give us what we need for the player health and then damage amount and that's going to be the desired damage amount and then we're going to use um, a literal integer or a literal value 1.0 for the par parameter minimum health. So the way that we write that in is right here in our damage to do part, you see float equals calculate damage. That's where we add in our arguments. So first one, it'll say my character health, and then you put a comma, you put a space, and you put uh, damage amount, and you put a comma, and you put a space, and then you put 1.0 cool so now there's no more errors there and you can press save cool so basically what we did is we put these parameters into our functions so that it makes it a little bit more easy to call parts of our function and reference it down here in this calculate damage this is where we put the arguments in and here is where we put the parameters in. These arguments are for these parameters. And that's why they get called when damage to do gets called right here. So everything that runs after calculate damage gets called. So hopefully you followed that. I know that was like mad confusing, but uh, you know what I'm saying? It's a high level. I get it. I get it. But you might have to go over this lesson many times or multiple times if you're first starting off coding. Because it's like, like I said earlier, it's jumping from Algebra 1 to now we're in Algebra 3 with this one. Like, I see what they're doing here. But let's go ahead and work on the heal player. And let's get it looking identical or somewhat, right? So, first things first. Let's go to our Calculate Heal up here and let's change all of this into parameters <clears throat> so the first thing that we're gonna have is a max health that's a float and okay and then put a comma and the next one we're gonna have is heal amount or desired heal amount and that's gonna also be a float put a comma and the last one we're going to get is player health there we go and that's going to be a float as well 
or we could say max health in this case. Oh, we already got max health, so player health is going to be a float too. Cool. Bop. All right, and since we put those as parameters, now what we can do is we can delete this below and kind of fix this these statements here because as, if you see this if statements got some errors because there's no longer a potion heal amount so there's a desired heal amount right here yep that's the one we want and down here is the same desired heal, heal amount perfect now there's no more errors there we could save but there is an error down here in your heal player calculate heal function. And the reason why is the same reason why um, we saw it before. It's because we just added parameters, but we didn't add any arguments for those parameters. So let's add the arguments down here. But before we do that, let's go ahead and set up a parameter in our heal player called heal amount. Um, this will be tied to our uh, desired heal amount, but it's going to be a float. All right, perfect. Okay. We're going to set max health and it's going to be a float. And this one is going to be um, equal to Fortnite character dot set max health. Perfect. All right. And let's call these, uh, let's go ahead and get these arguments in here. I'm going to call this one player max health or something like that or character max health. Just so we don't get confused with our other one. There we go. So for this one in the calculate heal, let's go ahead and put the argument here, which is going to be our character health, character max health. And make sure your arguments are lined up with your calculate heal. So the first one is asking us for is our max health. And that's what we want, character max health. Boom, comma. The second one it's asking us for is desired heal amount. And for that one, we put in the heal amount right here. So we just want the heal amount. And then for the third one, it's asking us for the player health, which we're going to get uh, the character health. So we can add in actually my character health float get health as well. We can do that again down here. So under before max health, let's do this. Uh, my character health and it's going to be a colon and it's going to be fort character. Fort underscore character. Actually, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. So, my character health colon float and then make that equal Fortnite character dot get health. All right, cool. So this is gonna be my character health right here. Boom. And the character max health is just called max health. That's why it's not right, right there. So let's call this max health right here. Boom. All right, now I think I got the solution for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out this line of code right here. We don't need that. 
and then we're gonna backspace here and then where it says calculate this max health it shouldn't say max health here it should say a number so this is 100.0 and then if that's the case every one of our errors should be gone now the only errors that you have are going to be here when we're calling this function and here when we're calling this function because remember these functions have arguments I mean they have parameters in them so now we got to call the arguments for those parameters in this part so um, let's look at the hurt player one hurt player says damage amount so let's put the argument of uh, I don't know 50 or right, 70 and then give it a minute and it'll heal the player and that needs an argument oh 70.0 and that also needs an argument in the heal player so we'll say the heal amount will be like I don't know 30.0 cool now we can open up our Fortnite and run this code and see what's going to happen but we set up everything correctly alright so now that we got Fortnite up and running go ahead and launch your game and as soon as your game comes up we're going to press tab and go to the log so we can see what's happening here so the players hurt damage to do is 70 and we're going to give it some time like I have mine set on 10 seconds healed to do 60 so the player was healed so all of that's really working out nicely guys we know how to control some things so that was the end of like literally learning all this stuff now we could probably jump into the game and code up a few things ourselves ourselves and make you know some magic happen like I'm, I'm sure we can build something easy like that's probably not the hard part but coding something um, custom we should probably work on that like so maybe in the next few episodes I'll just start my um, my own island and I'll just build some cool stuff in here and then if you know what I'm saying you guys could follow along or we could learn together you guys could share some stuff with me and likewise but thanks for joining me I'll holla at y'all in the next one peace